Bobby here with two epic EVs. We're gonna have a little fun tonight, I guess we'll say, it's in the afternoon. We are doing a test of a couple of different chargers. I'm gonna do a uh, charge curve test on this. I'm gonna try to do it from like 10 up to 100. Um, I'm also gonna check out a newly commissioned uh, Circle K location that a friend of mine on Facebook told me about and they just opened it up, so I'm gonna go check it out. And uh, he wanted it to be the first EV9 to charge on that. So we are gonna be running a cold weather test. Right now it is currently 10 degrees. We got 77% uh, state of charge. I have 75 miles to go. And it says I'm gonna show up at this Circle K location with a 38%. I'm just gonna hook in there enough so I can go to the other charger so I can arrive at a like 10%. So we're gonna figure that out, do some cold weather uh, uh, testing. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Okay, so we are in route here. It is a balmy 11 degrees. We have a 55% state of charge. We have another, uh, I have no idea, 20 some miles to go, but I just activated battery preconditioning. There is uh, not a, uh, on the maps, there's not a charger because this just opened up. So I'm gonna manually do that. It's a good feature of the EV9. Okay, we're about 2.8 miles from uh, the new charger. It's 14 degrees out here. It's a little warmer here than at my house. It was like 11, 12 degrees at my house. Um, the battery condition still says no. I activated about 30 miles out. Um, I believe we're gonna be visiting a 180 kilowatt machine that they just put in. And so we may not get the full output right off the bat. What's kind of interesting with this weather is I love this screen in the EV9 where it shows you the percentages of the battery usage. Now notice the climate says 13 percentage use since we charged. Um, we took off from my house at 79%. Uh, we are now at 42% and we went 77 and a half miles. Update you soon. All right, you can't really see the screen on the camera, but it says, that's okay, it says preparing to charge. This is the new Circle K location. It says preparing to charge right now, hooked it right up. We have a nice facility here, brand new. This just got opened up yesterday. There's 280 kilowatt chargers here, going well. Okay, we're charging at the Circle K location and it's a 180 kilowatt machine and um, it just opened yesterday. I'm getting 97 and I think it has to do with the preconditioning. Now we are about 12 degrees. I think it said 14 degrees actually. And uh, I hit it about, I manually did it about 30 minutes prior to here, but it did not say it was ready when it got here. It still said cold. And so I think the car actually has it toned down right now to, uh, you know, compensate, you know, for uh, not being preconditioned. So I think that's what's going on, but we are charging. Little update, we've been charging for about five minutes now, and it did pop up to 120, 110, 120, it's popping around there. So it's slowly coming up, um, charging in this 14 degree weather. Like I said, if I would have preconditioned a little better, I bet you we would be getting full speed out of this. So um, it's doing its job. Okay, at the Circle K location, um, now it's ramping down to 69, but we're at 83%. Um, like I said, this is at uh, 14 degrees. Um, and so it's uh, slowing down a bunch here. I'm gonna go ahead and unhook, because we don't really need it. Uh, we figured out, we routed to the next uh, spot, and we'll get there at about uh, 6%. So 
we'll give it a shot. All right, we're en route to a EVgo charger. That is a 350 kilowatt. I'm gonna arrive there. Let's see what it says here. I'm gonna arrive there with uh, nine percent. That's gonna be perfect. Speaking of nine, it's nine degrees out right now. So all right, we're uh, hitting the road there, and we'll be there in a bit. All right, little update here. We're uh, cruising right along. Still says nine. Um, the car started preconditioning on its own, um, so this is what we're at here. It did warm up a little bit, got 12 degrees, and it's uh, preconditioning. Uh, one thing I like to show everybody on the map here, which is super cool, is it gives you like the blue halo uh, part that goes around to where you can make it. So I'm right on the edge there that it shows to get a uh, 9%. So pretty neat uh, little and I think it is definitely take consideration the cold temps for sure all right now we're back uh, something really cool that I want to show you here this thing has auto lane change so if I turn on the blinker there's my hand here we're switching lanes and I'm holding the other phone switch lanes it does not turn the blinker off so I'll go ahead and shut it off and we're still good yeah, super cool. You can switch lanes right when you turn on the, the blinker. I like it. Also shows you some neat stuff up here in the heads up display if you can see that. Um, I'll go ahead and turn the, blink, the lane change again and showing you it's changing lanes. Yep, did it on its own. Pretty cool. All right, moving right along here. It is a whopping three degrees. We have about 16 miles left to get there. We get 21% left on the battery. It says we're gonna end up at nine, but we got a good, oh, never mind, two degrees, two degrees. All right, we're a few miles out, about uh, 2.7. At 12%, it just told me that the battery condition was disabled. Uh, I believe because of low charge. We did get a low charge warning at 20%. And uh, the battery did um, hit suitable conditions. About 15% was shut off, and then it came back on, and then now it's shut off because of uh, low low battery. So we're about a couple miles away. We're gonna arrive there. It says at 9%, so we should be good to go. And it is a balmy seven degrees. All right, we arrived at our destination with 10%. Uh, it is seven degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and get hooked in here and uh, we're gonna see how this goes. All right, we are plugged in here and uh, yeah, it's ramping right up. Got 113, probably take a little bit, but we're gonna get going here. The night time is 926. I have 11%, I plugged in at, I believe 10. And uh, we're gonna just keep monitoring this. We're at 31%, and I'm um, bouncing right at 120, 121 kilowatts. I think we've been running for about 15 minutes, maybe 14 minutes, trying to figure out. So that's where we're at right now, going well. All right, we're at 54%. It just ramped up to a 212, excuse me, 13 kilowatts. It's bounced between 212 and 213 at 55 now percent. It did it at like 53%. So yeah, the battery just had to warm up and now it's rocking and rolling. Checking in at 70%. It was holding like 170 kilowatts until I hit about 70% and then it went down to 133 right now. Um, so we're just uh, cruising right along. We're uh, at 80%, six degrees here. And usually right around this time, it does like a little dip for a minute or two. Um, it's rebalancing everything. Let's see if it's gonna happen here. All 
All right, we're at 89%. It's been holding 40 kilowatts. It never did the dip or, you know, the recalibration or the balancing or whatever they want to call it that I've seen before at 80%. Um, we've been charging now for about 47 minutes. It is now 10, 13. Um, I think I'm going to cut this thing off right around 90 or so to see, uh, cause I mean, there's no point to get the idea now you can charge in cold weather, a little slower than regular, but, um, actually did pretty well. So, all right, I'm going to shut her down here pretty soon. Um, we're just walking down slowly. We are 1022. I think I'm cresting about an hour of charging. I'm trying to remember the beginning of it. Uh, we're getting close here, so. But it's just walking down super slow, but I've seen other cars have a lower kilowatt at this high state of charge, so I'm pretty happy with this. So we're gonna go ahead and conclude the video, and I hope you enjoyed that. And it uh, gives you an idea when you're charging at six degrees out. So anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, shut her down. Thank you, this is Bobby at Two Epic EVs. Peace out.